Indeed, I, I am going to attempt to draw a pangolin. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Jamie's favourite description of a pangolin, I'm not sure if it's hers, but the one she uses a lot, is uh, that of a crawling artichoke, which is exactly what they look like. I, as you all know, am an excellent drawer. And so I'm going to draw you a pangolin. Are you ready? International Pangolin Day, they are an endangered species. And while I draw it, I will tell you that there are a number of very good people around the world doing quite a lot to make sure that they survive. Um, many of them actually live where Tandi, where Mwitwa lives in Zambia. And they... <laughs> look something like this. They are used, the scales are used in traditional medicine. I haven't planned drawing this at all, so you'll just have to bear with me. Well, as you always do, very kindly. And the scales, we don't, I mean, they obviously are just made of keratin. They're not actually used for anything useful, or they can't be used for anything useful because they are purely keratin. Um, but they're very easy to kill and apparently they taste quite good and they're easy to kill for a human being because, you know, we obviously have the tools to do it. If they are, however, caught by a predator, say a leopard or a lion, they roll themselves up into a bush, uh, into a ball, and they're almost impossible to break open. This is turning out exceptionally well. I'm quite disappointed myself. I was hoping to give myself a bit of a laugh. Uh, the back leg is definitely not going to be what it's supposed to be. Um, something like that, I think. Uh, it's got to lie. And, oh, look at that pangolin. I think, <laughs> I think that's quite good. What do you think, Chandra? Yes. Yes. Let me just label it. Pangolin. Shall I sign it? Yes. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not quite finished, of course. What's the date? 18th. There we go. Gorgeous stuff. Uh, the pangolin has got a very long tongue. It's a pity to have ruined it like that, but anyway, there we go. And their favourite food, of course, are ants, which look like this. These ants are currently running away from this pangolin, uh, but one of them has not managed to escape. That's it screaming, you see. It's been killed, and it's going to end up in the gullet of this pangolin. So you get a clean shot for everyone's... Yes, there we go. It's clean shot for everyone's, uh, for everyone's screen grabs. A beautiful pangolin. Now, there are no, I'm going to tell you a bit more about pangolins when you come back to us, but Brent Leo Smith has got a nice feathered friend he'd like to show you. 